Hello viewers, today we will discuss about migration. At first you see what is migration. Migration is the movement of people from one place to another with the purpose of settling at the destination or living there for a relatively long period of time. So that migration is the movement of people when people move from one place to another for what that for the purpose like that the settling at the destination or living there for a relatively long period of time that means when people change their house from one place to another and there they settle their house or they settle maybe for permanently or it may be for long period of time it often takes place across political or administrative boundaries it will be in between a state or it will be in between a country or it will be in between the continent so people can migrate temporarily or permanently and already i told that uh, the people can migrate temporarily from one place to another place or it it may be for permanently and migration may also take place voluntarily or forcefully so the migration for the migration there have two kinds of reason that one is voluntarily that uh, as their choice and the another is forcefully that means with the force of another some peoples or some political force there are two important processes related to migration so there have two important processes that the first one is the immigration and the another is immigration what is immigration immigration is the movement of people out of a region or country and such migrants are called immigrants so when people move from their own country to another country then it is called as actually immigration and immigration is the movement of people into a region or a country and such migrants are called immigrants and basically when people come back again into their country from the another country then it is called as immigration the place where the people are moving in that is the destination is called the receiving country place where the people are moving in that means where they included they are called the, these countries are called as receiving country and the place from where the people are moving out that is the origin is called the sending country and from which place or which country the people are changed or move out then they are called as sending country types of migration there are two types of migration one is internal migration and the another is international migration what is internal migration that this refers to the movement of people within the same country that means in this kind of internal migration the peoples they move move from in within a same country it could be from one state or city to another so it may be uh, from one state to another state or one city to another city within a country from a village to a city it will be from village to city or from uh, it will be from a city to village or from a small town to a large city all these kinds of movements are under this internal migration international migration is what that this refers to the movement of people from one country to another so when people move from one country to another country then it is called as international migration it can be of different types that those people who move with the legal permission of the receiving country is called legal migration so those peoples migrate legally from one country to another country they are called as legal migration with the support of government and while people who move without any legal permission are called illegal migration and some people what they illegally they shifted their home so they are called as illegal migrations migrants refugees are those who move or migrate from a region in order to escape conditions like civil war and political unrest if anywhere civil unrest or civil war is there political unrest is there then some people what they do they migrant as a escape condition they are basically called as refugees next topic is causes of migration people move from one region to another or across international boundaries due to various reasons which can be grouped under two categories push factors and pull factors there have two kinds of categories that push factors and the another is pull factors so what are the causes of migration that first come to the push factors a push factors is something that encourages or forces people to move out from a region or a country so push factors something like those try to force the people for the movement in case of internal migration the common push factors are so in the time of 
in that part of internal migration what happened that some there have some common push factors that the poverty unemployment of this place poor infrastructure and lack of social amenities in the rural areas so in basically in the rural areas we can see that poverty is there unemployment condition is there the infrastructure is very poor in nature and the social amenities their uh, lack of social amenities so that's for what the people they do they try to shift from the from their rural place to any city places so these are actually the push factors in india for example large scale rural urban migration has occurred because of these factors and in india we can see also these kinds of migration for these kinds of push factors sometimes political unrest in a political particular region may force people to move out from there and settle elsewhere in the country so sometimes with the help of political unrest of a region some people also shifted so these are also one kind of push factors the emigration of any many people from kashmir to different parts of india is a suitable example a suitable example of this political unrest for that uh, the people are migrated that from the kashmir also for the political unrest most of most people or uh, large amount of people they shifted or they change their position and they uh, come to another states